One of the most basic facts about the universe is that it's big. So you might wonder, why is the universe big? There's actually a single number called the cosmological constant that plays a crucial role in determining what the universe looks like. In fact, around 10 years ago, astronomers discovered a really remarkable fact. The universe is getting bigger and bigger at a faster and faster rate. But this rate is a million, billion, 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 billion times slower than what we'd actually predict. When you're off by a factor of a million, billion, 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 there is something very wrong with your understanding of basic physics. Even worse, this one number, the cosmological constant, needs to have this extremely precise value. And if the value is different even by a tiny bit, we would radically change what the world looks like around us. If you saw a situation where if a, uh, the parameter has a very dangerous value and you change it a little bit, uh, the world would change radically and we'd be dead, we couldn't possibly live, you know, that you would wonder where that came from, you know, how is that possible? So just on the face of it, you would look at the situation and say, wow, someone really cared to put this parameter at just the right value so that we get to be here and that uh, it's a pleasant universe and, uh, uh, and really cares a lot. This is the sort of thing that really keeps you up at night. It really makes you wonder, maybe we've got something about the whole picture, the big picture, totally, totally, totally wrong. There is a scientific alternative to believing there's someone out there who loves us, twiddling the dials very finely for things to work out. And this alternative, said briefly, is that everything we see in our observed universe is actually a very small part of a much, much vaster multiverse. You might literally imagine that from some bird's eye point of view, if you went to enormous distances, you would see that our universe is actually a little pocket inside a vastly bigger space. In this picture, uh, these mysterious numbers, like the cosmological constant, are actually basically random. And out there in the multiverse, next to us somewhere, is another region where these numbers take on some other random value. And then another region where they take on some other random value still. Only in a tiny sliver, minuscule part of this gigantic multiverse, for completely accidental reasons, do these numbers take on the very, very special values which allows structures to grow, stars to form, uh, galaxies to form, ultimately things like us to form. This is the really opposite extreme um, interpretation of, uh, of the presence of fine tuning as intelligent designers would want to give. Um, if you believe that someone out there cares and twiddles the parameters uh, so that you can exist, that puts our existence at the very core of reality. <laughs> if you believe that our entire universe is a tiny little minuscule speck in a gigantic multiverse, which is mostly lethal, that's a polar opposite philosophy for what the universe looks like. In fact, it's an idea that many physicists loathe because certain questions then become things that we will not hope to be able to understand. Nima is now an advocate for this idea that the laws of physics are different in different parts of this multiverse. That what we measure in experiments are not deep mysteries of nature, but they're just random accidents in our universe that maybe even the Higgs itself is a random accident that has occurred in our universe and lets life exist, but has no explanation. In a sense, it's the end of physics. On the one hand, we have the direction that we've been on for the last 400 years towards increasing beauty, simplicity, symmetry, and a path that has time and time again paid off with deeper and deeper insights about the way the world works.
On the other hand, we have the idea of the multiverse, which would move us to a real picture, not of symmetry and beauty and order, but fundamentally of chaos on enormous distances. This is the really very, very big scale question which the LHC is going to uh, push us in one way or the other.